Today, in developed countries, we're living longer lives than ever. This is, without doubt, good news, yet with an aging population, we face novel challenges. As humans get older, we tend to suffer more from various diseases, one of the most prominent being cancer. Together with expanding screening programmes and personalised medicine, this increased incidence raises pressure on the system. Professionals and diagnostic specialists in our medical centres worldwide, such as the radiologists and pathologists of the Masaryk Memorial Cancer Institute, are facing ever-increasing demands and hours spent in front of a microscope are getting longer. Fortunately, our era also brings novel solutions. Trays of tissue samples are being scanned and stored in a high-resolution digital form during the process called whole slide imaging. These images can then be reviewed in analytical software. This is already an improvement in some respects. However, the benefits may get overshadowed by the additional work required to obtain the data. Here is an example of such an image in analytical software. While this approach allows for easier orientation and smoother navigation, digital processing provides many more possibilities. Even now, the diagnostic process requires the expert to scan the whole image with extreme care. This is a tedious process, even just for a single slide. Luckily, this is not an ordinary slide analysis tool. Can current technology help us locate cancerous tissue faster and more accurately? With the use of machine learning, we may be able to outsource this task to a computer, let it do the work and highlight suspicious areas. Now, pathologists may focus their attention primarily on the areas of interest. Indeed, this is a confirmed region of malignant tissue. Let us mark this finding for future reference. We may use our automatic selector to save this region in the form of an annotation. This doesn't fit the area very well, but we can always fix it with manual touching. Naturally, medical professionals often have a hard time trusting automated diagnostic systems. It is their patient's well-being on the line, after all. To help build trust in the system, we can provide the pathologist with a heat map which highlights the most significantly contributing areas. These are the likely reason why a part of the tissue was diagnosed as cancerous or not. For example, here the network highlights a potentially contentious part, which should definitely be inspected by an expert. We aim for this tool to be flexible. Don't like the colour scheme of the overlay? Simply change it on the fly. With the right skill set, it is easy to create additional features such as this recorder plugin we are using to create this video. You can also add new types of visualisation. If you don't find the colour patches useful, maybe showing only borders is what you need. In the future, we aim for the expert in the machine to be able to interact. We want the human to ask questions of the system so that they may get an even deeper insight into how the automatic process is working and whether it is making sound decisions. And the best thing about all this, you can do it all literally, anytime, anywhere.